All right, so here's an example. We want to find an explicit formula for a geometric sequence. We know that a sub 1 is negative 5. We know that a sub 3 is negative 125. And that's all we know for terms, but we know that, that um, the r is less than 0, which means it's negative. So recall that the formula looks like this. Oops. Let's make that look like a real 1 there. a sub 1, r to the n minus 1. So I really can make two points out of this and two points out of that. So I have the ordered pair. Well, if the first term, that means the x coordinate, if you will, is 1, and the first term is negative 5, so that means the y coordinate is negative 5. And then let's make an ordered pair out of the second one the second point I have here. So it's the third term, so that means the x-coordinate, if you will, is 3, and the y-coordinate, or the a sub 3 value, is negative 125. So this is going to look just like the two-point method that we did back when we solved exponentials. So we're going to make two equations that look, that use these two points, a sub 1, r to the 1 minus 1, and negative 125 equals a sub 1 to the r to the 3 minus 1. All right, so we're going to put one on top of the other and divide. And so I'm going to pick this one because I have an r squared. And the other one, oops, it's a sub 1. The other one, that's going to be r to the 0. OK, now I'm going to stop a minute before I go any further, because some of you out there are saying, wait a minute, I already know what a sub 1 is. Yeah, we know what a sub 1 is, but um, let's kind of pretend for a minute we don't know what it is, because then this method will work for all the other problems where you really don't know what a sub 1 is. So you don't really need to know that it's a sub 1 to make this work. All right, so let's go ahead and do the division here. Um, I'm running out of room, so let's move over. Um, oh, I can move down one more. Negative 125 divided by 5 is 25. And of course, the a sub 1's cancel. r squared divided by r to the 0 is r squared. And then we take the square root of each side. So we're going to get r is plus or minus 5. But remember up here, it said that r is less than 0. So now I know that my r is negative 5. So now we're ready to make our formula. a sub n equals a sub 1. So I know a sub 1, that's negative 5. And my r is negative 5 also to the n minus 1. So there's my explicit formula for this geometric sequence when I only knew two terms and I had to calculate the r.